Long ago, in a coastal village, there lived a young man named Urashima Taro. He was a skillful fisherman and always provided for his parents. One day, when walking along the beach, he came upon a group of shouting boys. They'd caught a little sea turtle and were busy poking and kicking the poor creature. Urashima glanced down at the turtle and saw tears in her eyes. He told the boys to let her go, but they replied saucily, It's our turtle and we'll do what we want. Urashima took out his wallet, placed several coins in the palm of his hand and declared, Boys, sell your turtle to me. I'll take care of her. The boys grabbed the coins and ran off, pleased with their reward. Urashima examined the turtle to be sure that she wasn't hurt. Then he waded with her into the shallows. As she swam seaward, he called after her. Be careful. Good luck. A few days later, Urashima was again on the beach, repairing some fishing gear, when he spotted a giant turtle swimming landward. Hello there, Urashima Taro, the turtle called out. Thank you for saving me. I'm grown up now, and as a token of my gratitude, I'd like to invite you to the deep sea palace of the Dragon King. Climb upon my back. Urashima was speechless, and the next moment he found himself sitting astride the turtle's massive shell. When they were far out at sea, the turtle dove down below the waves, but Urashima was able to breathe just the same, as if it grown gills. Eventually, they arrived at the Deep Sea Palace. A beautiful princess welcomed Urashima at the entrance gate. You must be hungry. Such a long journey. Come in and enjoy. Urashima was ushered into a magnificent room with magical panels showing the endless cycle of the four seasons. He sipped fragrant wines and savoured tasty mortals. Then the entertainment began, with a chorus of sea creatures singing and the princess performing an elegant dance. Days and nights streamed by, weeks passed, and all the time Urashima was mesmerized. Yet, when three months had elapsed, he suddenly remembered his home village. The princess tried to convince her guests to stay longer, but he insisted it was time to go home. Before Urashima departed, the princess gave him a lustrous black box. Your ageless life is safe here inside, she said. But you must never open this box. Farewell. The giant turtle carried Urashima over the waves back to the very place where they'd first met. But once Urashima was on shore, he noticed that his village had changed. The houses seemed to stand in odd places, and he couldn't even find his own home. The villagers were all strangers, and they stared at him suspiciously. Urashima asked them, Don't any of you know Urashima Taro? No one answered, until one of the village elders stepped forward and said, I once heard an ancient tale about a man named Urashima. He disappeared into the sea, never to return. But it all happened some 300 years ago. That was when Urashima Taro realized he'd been gone longer than three months. He stared down at the box in his hands, wondering what it could mean. Then he lifted the lid. A wisp of smoke rose from inside the black box, and instantly Urashima's hair turned white. A long white beard appeared on his chin, and his face became wrinkled. He gazed silently at the waves. An old man now, tired and bent. 